Hey guys, it's still snowing. I'm going to be making some turkey meatballs. Figure that'll be a good dinner tonight after all the shoveling. I'm going to be making turkey meatballs tonight. When you buy your ground turkey, buy it 93% fat free. Don't buy the 99% fat free. It tends to make the meatballs too dry. I did see on the Food Network, I believe it was Bobby Flay said that um, add a tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil in with the turkey meatball so I'm going to try that tonight and see how it comes out. I will put the recipe down below but I'll just go over quickly what I use. So we have the ground turkey, breadcrumbs, parmesan cheese, I took an onion, minced it up in my little mini food chopper, I finely grated some carrots, that gives the meatballs a lot of moisture and then we're going to use salt, pepper, parsley, thyme, garlic, and an egg. We're going to mix that all together in four meatballs. I like to use my KitchenAid mixer when I'm mixing up um, meatballs and meatloaf. It just makes it much easier. So I'm going to turn it on low. Let that all mix in and then we'll check to see if it needs more breadcrumbs. I had to add just a little bit more breadcrumbs. This is a nice consistency right now. I'm going to bake my meatballs in a 9 by 13 pan that I sprayed with Pam. You're going to bake at 375 degrees for approximately 20-25 minutes. They will continue to cook in the sauce. I like to use this cookie scoop that I got from Pampered Chef to form little meatballs. Here are my meatballs all formed and ready to bake. While the meatballs are cooking in the oven, I'm starting to brown up an onion and chopped up with some olive oil. My onions are almost done. I'm going to throw in a bunch of garlic. We love garlic. Just put in as much or as little as you want. You don't want to put the garlic in right away with the onions because it will brown too quickly and it can pick up a bitter taste. So we're going to let this cook for another minute. Now I'm going to add some red wine. I'm going to let that cook off. So the wine is cooked off. I've added approximately three tablespoons of tomato paste. I'm going to mix this in and let this cook for about a minute. Now I'm going to add a 28 ounce can of crushed tomatoes. And then I'm going to use oregano, Italian seasoning, basil, parsley, salt, and pepper to taste and let this simmer. If the sauce is too thick, you can add some water. If you feel like adding some diced tomatoes, uh, that's good too. So we're going to let this simmer for about a half an hour after I add the spices and check it. My sauce has been simmering for about a half an hour. I'm going to um, taste it and readjust the spices to see if I need to add any more. I'm going to let it simmer for about another 15 minutes and then I'll add the meatballs to it. I just took my meatballs out of the oven. I let them bake for 25 minutes. They're going to continue to cook in the simmering sauce. So I've added my meatballs to my sauce. I'm going to turn it down to a very, very low simmer and cover it for an hour and then I'll check to see how the meatballs are doing. You don't want to overcook these meatballs because they can dry out. I've cooked it as long as two hours and it's been fine. Um, like if I'm waiting to eat, uh, I just keep it on a very, very low simmer. I made thin hair spaghetti to serve my turkey meatballs and sauce on. Added Parmesan and Pecorino Romano cheese and some garlic toast. Dinner served. Well, I have enough meatballs and sauce left over for another meal, so I'm going to freeze that. And I wanted to say that adding that olive oil to the ground turkey made a world of difference. They were so moist, so I'm glad I did that. So have a very good day. What a difference 24 hours makes. Today it's sunny, we have beautiful blue skies. Love the icicles. Birdies are still at the bird feeders. I'm going to have to shovel a path out to the bird feeders later on today and fill them up. So I hope everybody's doing well. We'll talk to you soon.